Hello guys, welcome back to the video. Today we are reacting to Film Theory, how Batman beats Superman, Batman v Superman, by the Film Theory. So I really don't expect so in 3, 2, 1, let's react. Batman v Superman? Uh, let's see. Superman can lift a truck, fly, and shoot laser beams out of his eyes all at the same time. Batman has ice skates. Case closed? Not skates. by a long shot. Get ready to put your money on Batman. Batman v Superman, not really the best movie of all time. Okay, that was the first and only movie... I slept in the theaters. Yes, that's the first and only movie that I slept in the theaters. So, yeah, you know it's bad when I sleep in the theaters. I mean, that's the one and only movie where I slept in the theaters. So, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't really well received, Batman v Superman. I mean, Batman won. That, I mean, I still think Superman should have won, okay? I still think Superman should have won. But Batman won for some reason. Hello, Internet! Welcome to Film, Film Theory, Theory, where today we're looking at the most absurd matchup of 2016. No, I'm not talking about the election. We're talking about election. Batman versus okay. Superman. Now, I'm Batman sure I wasn't the only one to see the title Batman v Superman and just start laughing. I mean, seriously, how can anyone, let alone a regular human, beat an all-powerful alien with a seemingly limitless set of abilities? Even Screw Attack's death battle concluded that anime's number one hero, Goku, an unstoppable fighting machine able to fuse with other fighters, channel the energy of the entire universe, and the literally become a god, universe. would lose in a fight against the all-American hero. Oh and they came to that same result okay. not once, but twice. Even with twice. Goku having the most powerful item in existence at his side, the comment section wanting him to win. Nothing comment beats that! Wanting... So what chance does okay. Batman Batman, Batman having a battle like that. Forget yeah. Batman v Superman, a more accurate title would be Superman wins the end. Superman there, I just saved you 20 end. bucks on movie tickets. You're welcome. Yeah. But hold on, before you go out and spend that money to see Deadpool a sixth time, sure, Vegas may put the odds at a thousand to one in favor of Superman, a but what if I told to you one. that despite the odds, Batman, with the help of some science, could very easily <laughs> win this fight. Science. That's right, I'm putting all my money on the old emotionally unstable guy in a leather costume and ridiculous voice. Superman. We believe there's even a 1% chance that he is our enemy. We have to take it as an absolute certainty. And no, we're not talking about kryptonite. Everyone knows that kryptonite. that magical rock is Superman's only weakness. Yeah. Exposed to kryptonite, Superman crumbles faster than a moviegoer watching Jiggly. But we're making this a fair Jiggly. and realistic fight. No kryptonite involved. Like last no episode when we killed involved. off Deadpool, I'm gonna figure out a tangible, scientifically accurate way that Bruce Wayne, as a normal way. human, could defeat an unstoppable alien comic book figure. So where do we start? Well, in the words where of Sun Tzu, start? know the enemy. Which means know we need to know what makes Superman so super. Since we're okay. talking about the Batman v Superman Superman, we have to go yeah. by the explanation provided to us by Man of Steel. As we Man learn from hologram Steel. Russell Crowe in the movie, he's not innately powerful. It's Earth that gives him all his amazing abilities. In fact, on Krypton, his home world, Superman wouldn't have any powers at all. Superman gains his powers on Earth through the planet's weakened gravity and its stronger sun relative to Krypton. A sun that's younger and brighter than Krypton's was. Your cells have drunk in its radiation. Earth's gravity is weaker, yet its atmosphere is more nourishing. Now you're probably thinking, that's pretty silly. There's no way the sun and gravity can rationally explain a man's ability to fly and lift up an airplane, yeah. but it kind of can. If Krypton has a much heavier gravity than Earth, an alien coming from Superman's home planet could lift objects no human could. This is because a Kryptonian's muscles would have adapted to the heavier gravity of Krypton. Think of an astronaut on the moon. The moon has a gravity the roughly equal to on one-sixth that of Earth's. Since the mass of an object okay. is constant, if you weigh 200 pounds on Earth and you go to the moon, you'll weigh one-sixth of that. 
approximately 33 pounds. This is why astronauts can so easily jump around on the moon's surface even when carrying hundreds of pounds of equipment. And that brings us to my next point, the changing gravity also affecting how much a person could conceivably lift. A human who could lift 100 pounds on Earth could then lift 600 pounds on the moon. But now, instead of the Earth and the moon, we have Krypton and the Earth. Since the Earth's gravity is weaker than Krypton, Superman weighs far less here. As such, he's able to leap tall buildings in a single bound and lift seemingly impossible objects. Is it perfect flight? Admittedly, perfect no, flight. but that's where the other half of his power set comes in. The sun. When it comes the to the sun, sun, Superman draws his powers just like any normal plant does. The light from the sun that reaches the Earth is composed mostly of non-ionizing radiation. What's that mean? Well, this radiation doesn't carry enough energy to ionize or steal electrons from atoms and molecules. It has enough energy to excite atoms, but doesn't change their charge. Think of non-ionizing radiation as an easy listening rock station. It's like the eagles of radiation. Compare that to ionizing radiation. Ionizing the Black radiation. Sabbath of radiation. Black Carrying Sabbath. enough hard rock energy to rip electrons off of atoms and molecules. Ionizing radiation is the reason you wear lead vests when you get your x-rays done. And it's the type of radiation that everyone worries about when talking about nuclear reactors. This stuff is the dangerous stuff. The anyway, dangerous knowing that, stuff. we can now have more insight into how Superman's powers work. During photosynthesis, plants soak up non-ionizing rays, the healthy ones, okay. and convert them into chemical energy. This energy is then used to fuel the plant's growth. Superman does the exact same thing, storing up non-ionizing rays from the sun and converting it into energy. Normal humans get vitamin D in a tan from the sun. Superman vitamin gets super D speed and laser vision. Tans. The world is an unfair place. Oh, this also begs the question, why is Superman's fortress of solitude in the Arctic? A part of the world that gets yeah. significantly less light than like 99% of the globe. Not a great plan. Superman may be strong, but he's not bright. If he was smarter, the Fortress yeah. of Solitude would be in like the Bahamas or something. The Bahamas. And it would be called like the Tiki Hut of the Solitude. Hut Make it happen, DC. In short, without the Earth's okay. gravity and sunlight, Superman just becomes man man, man, man. I guess. What? We actually see it happen in Man of Steel. When Superman boards General Zod's spaceship and is exposed to Krypton's atmosphere for the first time, he immediately falls to the floor and starts spitting up blood. This means that by calculating the gravitational force on Krypton, we can now duplicate a force on Earth that will easily defeat Superman. Star Henry Cavill bulked up to play Superman in Man of Steel. By the actor's own account, he weighed 203 pounds during filming. According to Stack.com, an elite athlete in top physical condition should be able to lift twice his own body weight through a variety of exercises. So a normal Henry Cavill can lift about 406 pounds on a good day. Now let's look at the new movie. In the trailer for Batman v Superman, we see Superman successfully lift a rocket, which weighs approximately 165,000 pounds. 165,000 pounds. He can lift 165,000 pounds. And that's probably not the heaviest that he has lifted or 75,000 kilos. Divide this number by how much a normal Henry Cavill can lift, and we get how many times stronger Superman is to a normal human. Funny enough, when you do that, it's actually 406 times stronger. Weird, 406, 406 squared. Times huh. Anyway, this means that stronger. Superman is about okay. 406 times stronger than what a normal Henry Cavill would be. Since the mass of an object never changes, this implies that for Superman to be 406 times stronger on Earth, Krypton's gravity would also have to be 406 times stronger. Earth's gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared, okay. so multiplying yes. that number by 406 okay. gives us the gravity okay. of Krypton, 3,991 meters per second squared. That's insane. insane. Our own sun has a gravitational force of 200 and... The sun only has a gravitational force of 274 meters per second squared, and Krypton has 3,991 meters per second squared. That's insane. 74 meters per second squared. Thus, in order to replicate Krypton's gravity, you would need okay. to create a force 14 times greater 14 than times that greater of the sun. The no sun. wonder Superman is super. Okay. It's also no wonder yeah. Zod's plan to terraform Earth failed. It's like some kind of gravity weapon. Working in tandem with their ship. Somehow they're increasing the Earth's mass, clouding the atmosphere with particulates. Oh my God. OMG. The terraforming. What? What are you thinking? These Kryptonians, man, really strong, but just 
stupid, stupid people. Fortress of Solitude stupid, in the Arctic. People. Terraforming Earth to the oh. gravitational weight of Krypton. Come on. Come on, guys. Ugh. Luckily, in order to win this fight, Batman doesn't have to do any terraforming. Knowing that in the lore of the movies, Superman is 406 times stronger than a normal human to damage the guy, stronger. all Batman needs to do is punch him with 406 times the... Yeah, that's the force of a normal human punch. And while that may sound like a lot, it's actually pretty yeah. easy. In fact, okay. we can punch Superman with a thousand times the force of a normal human punch. Oh yeah. In 2013, oh. scientists okay. at UC Berkeley created a robotic muscle a robotic thousand times muscle. stronger than a human being. These robot muscles, which are made from a material that's also in cameras and missile guidance systems, can throw objects 50 times heavier over a distance heavier. five times its length within what? seconds. Using these robotic muscles, Batman could create a mechanical suit with a punch nearly two and a half times greater than Superman's. So much for creating a fair fight between these two, Superman is at a disadvantage here. That scene from the trailer? Oh yeah, that's entirely plausible. Superman should be scared. But Batman doesn't stop there. He ain't gonna fight fair. He's the Dark Knight. Bruce would figure out a way to tip the balance in his favor. Sure, robotic armor a thousand times greater than a human should be enough to knock out the so-called Man of Steel, but Batman doesn't want to take any chances in this fight. He would want to weaken Superman. And he could do that through the other half of Superman's power source, the sun. No, Batman isn't gonna block out the sun, that'd be stupid. But yeah. he can use ionizing radiation. Ionizing Remember, radiation. Superman drinks up non-ionizing radiation like a plant to fuel his powers. That's the safe okay. stuff. But on Earth, ionizing radiation is pretty easy to come by. X-rays, nuclear power plants, radon, and as we all know, it's dangerous. Okay. Exposure dangerous. to ionizing radiation results in mutation, radiation sickness, cancer, yeah. even death. If Superman is exposed to ionizing rays, he's gonna absorb that harmful radiation, weakening him in the same way he he absorbs the sun's non-ionizing rays for strength. Couple that with a punch two and a half times the strength of soups, and you got yourself a fight. Don't believe me about this radiation a stuff? Fight. Well, look no further than the comic okay. book Batman v Superman is based on, The Dark Knight Returns. In the, the comic, Dark although Knight it's not directly returns. spelled out, Superman is exposed to ionizing radiation from a nuclear fallout. The result? He fallout. immediately shrivels up like a prune. In fact, like Superman is so okay. weakened by this exposure that when he fights Batman later on, he gets beat senseless. That's right, in the very senseless. comic Batman v Superman okay. is based on, Batman, the ultimate long shot, actually wins. So in summary, all you need to do yeah. to beat Superman is expose him to some I mean, Batman won this is before the actual movie, but Batman won. I'm pretty sure without using ionizing radiation. And I'm pretty sure not building a mech suit. I'm pretty sure. I can't remember how he beat Superman. I can't remember it. But he did beat him. Radiation, be it via x-rays, radon, uranium, take your pick, and then pummel him to death with some robotic muscles. But hold on, I hear you say, that's far from easy. Who on earth could yeah. possibly have access to all of that? Well, who else? but Bruce Wayne. Bruce, Bruce Wayne is a billionaire entrepreneur. Yeah. He can do anything he wants. How anything. much does crafting an armor of super strong robot muscle cost? Doesn't matter, Batman's a billionaire. He probably billionaire. funded the research for it in the first place. Yeah. And remember, that's billionaire okay. with a B. He could make a hundred robot B. suits and then buy a tropical island and then build a temple on that island worshiping George Clooney and his bat oh, nipples. Okay. He's a billionaire. He can do whatever crazy billionaire. things he imagines just by signing a check. As for getting his hands on radioactive substances, Bruce Wayne already owns dozens of nuclear power plants. Okay. Wayne Enterprises, per Batman lore, has multiple divisions which include Wayne Construction, Wayne Biotech. That's a lot of Waynes, you know, Wayne Construction, Wayne Electronics, Wayne Technologies. It goes all... How do people know he has all of this? Wayne everything. He doesn't change the name except wait oil industries like that but it's just 
all Wayne. Check Wayne Steel, Wayne Weapons, and Wayne Industries. All Bruce Wayne has to do is borrow some uranium from his local power plant, or radon, or whatever. Or better yet, just stage the battle at his own power plant. Once lured stage. in, Superman won't know what hit him, but we will. Okay. Ionizing radiation followed up with robotic muscles a thousand times stronger than that of a human. And that, loyal theorists, is the true irony here. The one thing that'll defeat Superman, the all-American hero, is the most American thing of all. Capitalism. Capitalism. The green substance Superman should be worried okay. about ain't kryptonite, it's the almighty dollar. But oh hey, dollar. that's just a theory. A film theory. And cut. Want to see more theories about all your favorite superheroes? Punch that subscribe button. So yeah guys, Batman did win. So yeah, that's just watching and of course, peace on people have peace, peace.